boys. All right, let's go out. I'll take you out and then I gotta go. All right, everybody. I'm gonna turn these on just for a second. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's go, in the yard. Good morning, everybody. How did you sleep? I slept fantastic. Ish, fantastic ish. It's gonna be a good day today. What do you say? Let's make it one. I don't need food. Can I just get a sausage biscuit, please? Or sure, is that the meal today with a hash brown and a drink? Uh, just with a hash brown, no drink, please. For sure, that's everything? Yeah. 580, please. Thank you. See, they respond when you say thank you. But if you say super duper, they're quiet. So you know they hear you. I have to get my wallet out. Shoot. One second. Hey. Hey. Oh, here. There we go. Thank you. So you know they hear you when you say super duper. And they just don't know what to say. They're speechless. <laughs> it's good to know. Good to know. Someone will respond someday. What do you say to that though, right? What do you say to that? If you don't know what to say awesome possum, you're, you're probably just sitting there like, what did he just say? Yeah. I'll watch too much Anchor Man. What? Well, it back where it belongs before it ends up somewhere it doesn't belong. So I brought my own coffee today because I wasn't going to spend money at Tim's this morning. And then I forgot to eat breakfast. So I had to go to Tim's anyway. So here we are living the dream. Homemade coffee and Timmy's biscuit and a hash brown. I went all out. All right, hi-ho, hi-ho, off to drive trucks I go. Welcome to my new home away from home. So it's a freight shaker, 
I'm just cleaning her down right now. This is gonna be my my girl, I think. That I'm gonna be uh, assigned to. Uh, it's a little little day cab. We got the 35 footer behind me, so a little baby trailer. And this is uh, where my home is gonna be. And I'm just giving it a nice little little dust down here. Might need some more cleaning product. I brought my Fantastic along and two rolls of. Why, why did I want to say toilet paper? Two rolls of uh, paper towel, giving it all a good wipe down. So I can come to work to a nice clean truck every day. So I'm doing pickup and delivery. Southern Manitoba. It's gonna be fun, I think. Got a really good feeling about this. I'm really excited. Then again, I'm always excited. I'm just excited for a new day. Look, the sun is shining. I'm excited clean my truck so that my excitement can be uh, matched with a cleaner interior. I'm not a perfectionist. I don't have to have like a, a immaculately spotless clean truck. I'm not a germaphobe. I'm the, not at all. I just like to have it like, I don't know, presentable, I don't know, it's clean. It's gonna be clean. And some people don't care. So I don't care if they don't care. But if I'm gonna be in a truck every day, I just want it to be up to my standard. That's just me though. Everyone's different. So, Just waiting for some freight to come through here. I'm supposed to be uh, picking up in a little while here in Winnipeg. I'm at Deacon's Corner on the east side of Winnipeg and I'm just waiting for the radio to light up here and for my orders of what to do next. This day felt like it just blew by. It's already 5.30. At least it's not completely dark out yet. I mean, the south sky is a little bit lit up, so the days are slowly, slowly getting longer for us again. Before you know it, I'll be going home and the sun will still be high in the sky and uh, we'll still have time to go to the beach on Friday. Looking forward to that. It was a pretty, uh, pretty standard day, I would say. It started off kind of slow. And then it quickly sped up, and it turned into I don't know, a pretty good day, a decent day, I think. It was a good day. Told you it was going to be a good day. You didn't believe me. I just washed this jacket, and at the end of the day today, I spent some time washing the truck that I'm going to be driving, so it's a nice, clean truck for tomorrow, right? Got myself all dirty again. I'm trying not to lean back on my seat. That's why I don't like light interiors in vehicles. Every little spot of dirt shows up as a stain. And I plan on keeping this truck for a while, and who knows, maybe I'll redo this interior one day and I'm gonna do it with uh, dark, uh, dark material. I don't mind that it's not vinyl or leather, I just, it's like a light gray and that's just asking for stains. But it is the vehicle I picked. I actually bought this truck over the phone in 2016, right? Was it 2017? No, yeah, I think it was, this is a 2016 truck. Yeah, I think I bought it in 2016. That's right. And I called my sales guy, Teddy, at uh, Murray Chevrolet. I called him and I, I had a Colorado at the time. And I told him, this truck's not big enough, Teddy, I need a bigger one. Give me a bigger one. Same thing, blacked out. And so he sent me pictures of this truck. And I said, I'll take it. And when I got home from my trip, because I was on a trip somewhere in the US, when I got home from my trip, my truck was waiting for me. All I had to do was go in, sign some papers, swap keys, bring up my old truck. I drove away with this, and now it's all paid off. I, I got it as a lease to begin with. That was a bad idea. I shouldn't do that, but I did. Lesson learned. And uh, I now bought out the lease after we sold our house. And we bought out the train as well, if you haven't been following. so. What a good feeling. So this truck's still got a lot of miles on her. She's got about 89,000 kilometers on her right now. She's got, and that's like, uh, like 53,000 miles or so. She's got lots of life left in her yet. Plus she's a Chevy. She's good to go. Lots of people, look at me. Look at me, I'm all part of rush hour, just like a normal person, going home at a normal time like a normal person. Wow. 
Look at these guys. Hey, you going home? Me too. Ha! Huh? How about that? How about you? You going home? Yep. You going home? Going home? Yep. We're all going home. Like normal people. Wow. When you uh, drive on the highway for a while, you get used to, you know, being gone for two, three weeks at a time. And I have, haven't really experienced rush hour at all in 10 years. I mean, I'm not saying that that's the longest anyone ever has. I know there's a lot of you out there who have been uh, out on the road for way longer than what I was out for. But let me tell you, I feel like I'm part of a club or something. Like everybody goes to work at the same time. They come home at the same time. Strange. Kijo, Kijo, did you miss me? Did you miss me? Was I gone long enough? And Chevy? Oh my. Oh my, I can't get the gate open. I gotta put all my stuff down, man. Hey guys. You have fun today? Hey guys. Come in. There's a wife too. Did you miss me? Oh. How come you're not jumping up on me and all excited? I don't hear you barking. I haven't seen the chiropractor in a while. Oh. Chevy. <laughs> you're pretty tame today, too. It's because he has his. Uh, oh, he has his little training his collar training on. Collar. He doesn't want me to beep it. He gets a little beep if he's bad. Good. Wow, it works well. And the time you've all been waiting for the comment review from yesterday. We're going to do this again today. Because uh, you guys seemed to like it yesterday. And this cheap green screen is kind of fun to work with. Look at me. See, if I do this, you can sort of see that that's what's... That's what's up. You want to see what's actually behind me? One second here. Keep watching. I'm going to share with you my secrets. Shh, don't tell anybody. Okay? Don't tell anybody. You want to see what's behind me? Oh, where'd I go? Where'd I go? That's the, ah, there it is. There it is. But why am I out here in the middle of, uh, middle of there? See, I'm still in the room right here. Oh, it's because I'm using this web camera. I see. Let's try to use the other web camera, USB video device. There we go. That's how it was supposed to go down. I'm just going to leave it in there. I'm not even going to edit that out. This isn't supposed to be a super professional video. <laughs> okay, now how do I change this back? Oh no, what happened? Oh, there we are. Okay, so. Why is this over here? Is it on this side? What's, what's going on over here? What's this? Hey, get out of here. Okay. We're ready. <laughs> We're ready for the comment review. You guys ready? So, uh, this is from the video yesterday. It was called, This Should Work. It was talking about this USB cable, uh, not USB, uh, Ethernet cable that I got coming all the way to the back of the house from the front of the house. It's 150 feet, and it's probably not Category 6 or whatever, like you guys were saying it should be. I probably wasted my time and my money. And that's what I get for being a vlogger and not a streamer. But here we are, living the dream. So, anyway, it is better. It does say Category 6 on it, though. It says CAT.6. I don't know. I, I thought I ordered the best of the best. I guess we'll see what happens. i got to call my internet provider, because I'm paying for 500 megabits per second upload and download, and I'm only getting, like, 14 to 16. That's a big difference, and I'm paying for them all. Anyway, anyways, comment section here. So this is just the newest first. We won't be able to get through all of them once again. Otherwise, this vlog will be an hour. And I know some of you are like, please, Trucker Josh, make us an hour-long vlog. I'd love to, but I, I don't think everybody wants it to be that long. I don't know. If I get enough comments saying make an hour-long vlog, maybe I'll try. Maybe I'll try. But I think 20 to 30 minutes is long enough. That's where I like to keep it between. Okay. Jake Ridley. Seven minutes ago, said, sup, Josh. Sup, Jake. 
I'm gonna respond. I'm gonna respond. What should I say? What should I say? Something clever. Got it. Sup. Boom. Nailed it. Alright, what's this? Lil Nick. Just so you know, there's multiple Ethernet cable categories. 5, 5E, 6, and 6A are the most affordable for price and quality of video. With 5E, which is not that expensive, I have a 750 to 800 megabits per second. You should invest in a good cable. Your cable is probably chalking around 485 megabits per second that you're missing. See, right on the cable right here, it says category 6. So I did get a, a 6 cable. I know I did. It's just, i got to call my provider and see what's going on there. <clears throat> Bob Mayer. Are you the mayor? Just a question. I just wondering. <laughs> Josh, I mentioned this before on your channel. Why not drive for Tim Hortons? Here in Ontario, they run around in good current trucks pulling pup trailers, power tailgates, pallet trucks, uniform supplies, benefits, and probably a Tim Carton, yeah. The only thing is I don't live in a major city. I don't live in Winnipeg where their headquarters would be. So it would be a very long commute to work and a very long commute back, and it's it's just not that easy. And I want something that's much closer to home, and that's why I'm not a Tim's driver. I just really like their coffee. Turbo Fang. I like that name, Turbo Fang. Really liked the comment review. You should make that a regular part of your vlogs. You know what I'm going to say? I'm going to click this right here. That's a good idea. I'll do another one right now. Beth Knapp says, Love the idea of reading comments. I was excited when you said my name. Anytime. I said your name again. Beth Knapp. Said it again. Beth Knapp. Said it again. Wow. Has Britt gone back to work yet? No. Uh... Her work has been closed down for two more weeks yet. That's four. Two more weeks. Uh, it was supposed to reopen on January 8th, and they restricted essential item-selling thing weirdo stuff in Manitoba here uh, for another two weeks. It doesn't make sense to any of us, so you're not alone. It doesn't make sense to me either. But no, nope. uh, so there's that. Nope, she's not back at work yet, but she, st she does still have her job. She will be going back uh, as soon as they let her, as soon as the, the overlords let her. Uh, Mike Murr says, awesome job installing the network cable, just like a professional. Wow, thanks. Thank you very much, Mike. I like how YouTube sometimes like gives me like responses that I might want to say, and usually they're the right thing. It's creepy how they know what I want to say, right? It's creepy. Bruce Kimmel, one of my longtime followers. Uh, good job on the cable. Uh, you know, I'd consider him a friend already. You've been with this channel for so long, and you always leave nice comments every day. And you watch every video. And I know you do because you comment on pretty much every video. So thank you, Bruce. I appreciate you, and I, thank, I appreciate all your comments. Thank you. Uh, good job on the cable. Don't call Ghostbusters. Call Copper Josh. <laughs> Comment review is awesome. Really dig your content, Josh. Good luck with the new job. Thank you. Uh, nice job. Give you a hint. Paint the cord the color of the wall and you will definitely not see it. That's a good idea. It's a good idea. Walmart and Amazon is hiring. They're looking for relay drivers. Very true. Very true. B61 Mac. Uh, but again, that's in the city of Winnipeg, and that's a very long commute from where I live right now, and even longer from where we're going to be building our house. Uh, he, he also said the dogs look like kids waiting for an ice cream. They always look that way, <laughs> unless if they're sleeping. It's one or the other. They only got like two emotions, sleeping and super excited like kids waiting for ice cream. <laughs> Zombie guy says, you have a lot of nicknames, Trucker Josh, Laundry Josh, Baby Making Josh. Oh, I got a whole list of names. I mean, we could go on and on all night, but I got to keep going here in the comments. <laughs> you like the comment review? Awesome. Glad to hear it. Good stuff. Good stuff. I don't know if I'm going to do this every day, guys. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll make it a separate video some days. Maybe I'll include it in the video in other days. Uh, if I don't get a lot of content, 
Maybe I'll add it to the end of the vlog, but maybe if my vlog is already like a half hour long, maybe I'll make a separate video out of it. We'll see. We'll just roll with the punches. I really like these too, so I'd like to do them more often. I just don't know if I'll do it every day. Let me try it for a while, and if I feel like this is something I'm going to like get in the routine of, I'll let you know. But uh, we will be doing this uh, more often. That's for sure. I like it too. Jason Risner said, I did the same thing with the Ethernet run in my place, which was a rental, but not nearly as cleanly. Nice work. Thank you. But as far as your internet speed problems, you've only partially solved your problems with that cable. If you can directly connect the laptop to the incoming modem and test it there, you should that should tell you if you're getting kneecapped by your router or if you need to call a tech out to fix your internet. Interesting that you mentioned that because I did connect it directly to my uh, directly to the modem and skip the router altogether and it didn't work at all nothing like it was in the LAN port 1 that goes to the modem right and then there's LAN port 2, 3 and 4 I put it into 2, 3 and 4 and connected it right to the computer nothing but I the router is connected into LAN port 1 and then I connect the computer into LAN port 1, 2, 3 or 4 from the modem I mean, from the router, and it works. But it's only at, like, 14 to 15 megabits per second, and I'm paying for 500. And I'm not a computer geek. Okay, I make videos on the internet. I kind of understand how to, like, put videos together and use these tools for my advantage. But I don't understand exactly how they all work, which is frustrating, because I wish I was a little bit more of a geek. I could solve a lot of my problems myself. Sort of like the way I'm not really a mechanic, but I like to drive trucks. I love driving trucks. I love operating trucks. I can do anything you ask me to do with a truck within, you know, within reason and reality. Ask me to fix a truck? I mean, like, change out a piston or change out, uh, like, like take the engine apart and fix something on the inside? Forget it. Forget it. Nope. Nope. I'll just drive it. You fix it. All right? Mr. Mechanic, you fix it. I'm the same way with vlogs. I know how to use the tools and create what I want to create with them. But if they break down, I'm calling the computer mechanic. I have no idea, you know? So uh, maybe I'll try again. I'll try again this weekend, maybe. I'm going to fiddle around with it a little bit more. I'll give you a heart. That was a really good comment. and Thank you for that. That was a really good uh, suggestion. I, I, did, I did try that already, but I'll try again. I'll try again. Uh, do you spot a dehumidifier by the back by the back door? Uh, I'm using adding moisture in the air in the winter. Yeah. Uh, oh, same guy, Jason. Yes, you did spot a dehumidifier. Our house is unusual, unusually humid. I know. I thought it was weird too, but if we don't have that dehumidifier going, our humidity goes up to about 86 to 90, and in, and in fall it was over 100. That dehumidifier is just keeping it down to like 40 to 50. We have a really big humidity problem in this house. And it could be because our crawl space hasn't been vapor barriered. And that's one of our projects for next year on this house. We got to get the, uh, the, the, the crawl space underneath this house vapor barriered. Because what happens is the water goes into the ground, right? Soaks in and then it tries to come up. And it's just dirt underneath our house. So it comes up and there's nowhere for it to go. And our crawl space, for some reason, isn't vented. So that moisture has nowhere to go. So I, I think it's being pushed up through the cracks and stuff into the house. And all the moisture is making its way into the house. Which is risky. Risky for mold. Risky for rot. Stuff like that. But this house was built in the early 70s, late 60s. And it's been like that its entire life. And there's no mold in this house. We had an inspector go through here. We had my dad, her dad, and me if that counts for anything, go through this entire house and we couldn't find anything significantly wrong with it and there was no mold. So it's been like this for a very long time and hasn't developed any mold problems. But it does have a humidity problem, which is something we're working on uh, and hopefully we can get that fixed. But for now, yeah, we have a dehumidifier going uh, constantly and it keeps the house comfortable. It's not like a big, big issue. We got it a couple of months ago and it's been, it's been working. But it, good call, though. Good eye. You, you watch closely. I'm impressed. Catherine says, wonderful dogs. They are. I agree. Thank you. 
Uh, I noticed in the I noticed it in the corner before you said anything. Just paint it the same color as the wall. That's what I'd do. Good eye, Andrew. Good eye. I wouldn't have noticed it. But uh, at least I know someone's going to notice it, right? <laughs> Maybe you paint for a living? Well, I mean, I guess it depends what you do for a living. People who paint or build houses for a living, that's something they would notice right away. I don't know. Maybe you just got really good eyes. Uh, this vlog doesn't have Timmy's in it. Did I not include Timmy's in it? That's wrong. Go back to the beginning of the vlog when I made my coffee. What was on the coffee pot? Go back. There, Timmy's was in the vlog. I'm going to give you a, a heart anyway, though. Best YouTube channel ever. Oh, my. Oh, my. That is... There's a lot of YouTube channels out there. Thank you. Thank you, the last one. And the last comment... Uh, last two comments here. Uh, Ray1957TN. Josh, you may come to my house and clean up any time. <laughs> I enjoy the drive through town. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, big hands, uh, card magic again. They sell wire covers to help blend or hired wires into the wall. We have some of them too. Yeah, I've seen those before, right? And Steve Powell says, I use power line adapters to achieve the same thing as a cable when routing one is awkward. Uh, you get some pretty decent speeds. Not sure if Canada has those though. Well, I'm sure we do. I'm sure we do. If they make them, we have them. Anyways, uh, that will be that. Uh, there's so many more comments to go through, and I'm sorry we can't make it through all of them. Uh, but please, leave your comments in the comment section down below, and maybe they will be featured in our next comment review, and I will be able to respond to you right here in the video. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, thanks. Great comments. Someone uh, left a comment on my video yesterday saying, Josh, do you ever have negative comments? Your comments are so positive, and that's so unusual for YouTube. My response to that is, yes, I do have negative comments, but they're so few and far between because I believe we have a great group of people here. We have a great team, Team TJV, or just us. We're a great group of people, and uh, very kind and generous, and I appreciate all of you very much. I'm very thankful for you. Thanks for watching today, everybody, and I'll have a new vlog up tomorrow.